And with that, I'm back. Finally. But Dragon Quest Monsters of the Dark Prince, it is finally here. And I cannot wait to play this. How? I don't know how long I've been playing this one, though. I probably, I probably checked, but, uh. And yeah, we'll see. Well, we don't need to see. You'll understand what I got uh, when I transfer over the save file from my demo from my demo playthrough. Even though you weren't here for this, I'm really excited for this game. So let's just get this underway, baby. The 25th anniversary of Dragon Quest Monsters is a very nice game. Even though the first game I played is Dragon Quest Joker. I really do like Dragon Quest Monsters. It's a very nice game to go through. And hopefully we get a lot out of this playthrough. Language, English. Yes. Hold on. setting. Let's just put this at fast. And transfer demo data. Thank you for playing the demo. The monsters you required during the demo has been transferred to the full game. They will be available once you have unlocked the depot. Uh, but they will only be, have retained their nicknames and sizes. Yep. Yeah. Following monsters have been transferred to the demo since they were reused in your main party and reserves. That's what I had to check before I did this stream. Make sure the ones I wanted were being transferred over. Got Squishy, Gene, Windy, Jack, Hood, a Hunter Mech, a Jargon, and a Slime. I want to use those. I received the Wrangler's Bundle for playing the demo. Great Ring, Bonus Ball, and Five Smokes for Line. So we're going with Sorrow. It's nice. Yeah. Let's choose your setting. Settings we're about to choose can be changed after you begin playing the game. Yeah. Let's just get this out of the way. Square Enix presents. Ooh. Damn. Oh, this isn't good. Character monster designer Akira Toriyama. Hang about. This isn't any ordinary human. Gorin, help me get him inside. For the tyrant's son, a prince amongst us monster folk. Randolfo's son? But he looks like any other human. They say Randolfo had a child with a human woman. 
But the boy's whereabouts were unknown. But what would he be doing here in Nadiria now? Well... Darling, have those bullies been picking on you again? But you're tougher than anyone, Your Highness. Why not show them who's boss next time? No, Glupert. Listen carefully. No matter what happens, you are not to lay a finger on a human. You are not like them. Mm. And that means you have to try twice as hard as anyone else to be human, if not harder. Ain't ya, you sneaky rotter? Hey, stop that! Oh, what do you want, Evan? I suppose you think you're some kind of hero wanting to protect this idiot. Jeez, man. Ow, that hurts. Are you all right there? <laughs> I guess neither of us is much of a hero. The, the shriveler. It got my dad. And after a strikes. He comes back to the whole family. He's going to get me and my sister. Hey, where are you going? You're so strong. And what did it mean, monster kind royalty? Oh, come on, Evan. We'll catch that silverhead brat. What did he do? destiny. My darling boy, please embrace your humanity. Your 
father rules over Nadiria, but that is not to your concern. Just please, whatever you do, stay away from him. I beg you. L Lady Miriam! Oh. oh. Thankfully, she's just snoozing. Where are you going, Your Highness? Nadiria? Don't go, Your Highness. Come back! I see you're awake. I know you've come a long way, but you'd best give up on your plan to see your father. Hmm? Oh, not interested in my warning, I see. Well, hello. Impressive. Though I wouldn't expect any less from one of your sons, Rantolfo, my lord. Ah. Tell me, boy of mine. Why do you return to the underworld, from which you are an outcast? arms against me? Yeah. Very well. Allow me to show you exactly where you stand. You are now cursed, unable to harm creatures of monster blood. That should deter you from returning here. Now prepare to be sent to the end of time itself! Globo Oscuro! Hey, it's the dragon. The, the... So you are here, progeny of human and monster. I am the one who sees all. I forget what the name of this dragon was. It was, uh... Oh, they'll, probably, they'll, they'll probably say it. I am sorry to tell you that your mother passed a short while ago. Henceforth, you will do as she wished and live your life as a human. I shall remove the monster blood that courses through your veins for you. Why do you resist? A good question. Have your revenge by deposing him and taking his title as master of monster kind. For this, you will require the strength of a monster, no doubt. Very well. You are the master of your own destiny.
This is a story oft heard, but yet untold. A tale made new in the telling. Hmm. That was pretty good. You're gonna need a bit of a story in case you don't know who Psaro is. Okay, for me, I... Wakey, wakey, lad. I've played Dragon Quest IV already. It's only me, Royston. You were mourning and groaning a fair bit. Bad dreams, I take it. Oh, Monty asked about me, by the way. Best go see it when you get the chance. Oh, man, Monty. Very good staple of Dragon Quest monsters. In general. You move your character. Yeah. What are you doing? Will you be busy looking for a way to undo your curves again today, your highness? I'm not complaining, but I wish you had more slime to hang out with me. What do we got? Very nice. I like this little house. Hey, up. Hey, up. <laughs> Don't forget to pay Monty a visit, will you? He'll be mooching behind the counter of his shop just across the way. Monty! How's it going, man? What do you reckon? Well there, lad. Oh, well, I'm sure you know why I'm so eager to see you. That's right, I want to talk about the old curse of yours, the one that stops you from harming monsters. I know you've been burning the midnight oil researching ways to rid yourself of it. And we've got you to thank for this magical barrier protecting Rose Hill from human folk and, monster and wild monsters. Everyone in the village is grateful to you, lad. I think you just wandered in one, wandered in lost one day, and now you're like family. Truth be told, we're now closer to finding a cure for your curse than the day you came. Which is why I think it's time to try a new approach. And that approach is... Come. Hold on a minute. Where did I put my blessed notes? Took one of their weapons. Will they get another one? <laughs> you really think you stand a chance against us? Yeah. Get 
get away! You... you can't do it! What's the matter, boy? Struck dumb with fear, are you? You can't! You can't do harm to a monster! It's your lucky day! A certain important someone wants a word with you. Monster. Right, my darlings. Kindly let these manky monsters know they've outstayed their welcome. Curse you! We'll be back. And next time, you'll be coming with us. You're not hurt, are you, lad? Good. Good. I'm just glad I made it in time. I knew we'd be having unwelcome guests again. But I just didn't expect them quite so soon. Hmm? You're keen to know who these monsters are? Well, I'll tell you all about it later. First things first, we need to tend to the injured. And I've got just the monster for the job. This way. Now, lad. Where were we? As I'm sure you know, this isn't the first time monsters have come to the village hoping to find you. We've all banded together and fought them off. But each time they come back stronger, we can't hold them off forever. Now, you're going to have to learn to protect yourself, my lad. You're going to have to become... A monster wrangler. Do you know what one of them is? Oh, right. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm talking about the mighty gladiators who marshal their monstrous troops in battle. I just know you'll be a natural, lad. After all, it's in your blood. Why don't I get you started with one of my little lot? I'll ask you a few questions, and I'm sure we'll be able to pair you up with the perfect monster. I'm assuming these are the same as the demo. Would you say you prefer lovable monsters to more rugged types? Yeah. And do you like more compact monsters? Yeah. Hmm. Very... What you got? I'm sure you'll get along famously. Are you happy with this monster? Yeah, sure. Treat him well, won't you, lad? I'll just keep it default. Great bomb. Oh, <laughs> looks like they've taken a shine to you. Now, it's time you learned the ABCs of monster wrangling. Let's head out of the village and get ready to rumble. Just gonna breeze by most of these. Now then, let's turn you into a monster wrangler. We'll start with the basics. A monster wrangler's job is to train up their monsters to be good and strong. Lights, camera. Hey, did you? Did you say something, lad? Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, mind saying it again? These old ears aren't what they used to be. Action! 
I'm here to make you a star. There she is. I've got a nose for talent, and I could smell you a mile off. You're a natural kiddo. I can see it now. Workshop your skills with me, and you'll have your name up in lights in no time. Blooming Nora. I see you're still as daft as a brush, Fizzy. Modern tea. It's been a while, but it's never too late. I'm all ears if you ever want to make a comeback. Right. Fizzy here may be a robin, but she's a first-rate instructor of monster wranglers. I reckon I can leave you in her more than capable hands. Right. I'm gonna head back to shop. Drop by once you've finished your training. All right, babe. It's you and me now. Are you ready to shine? Lesson one. The basics. Defeating monsters in battle. Yep. We got slime. We got whatever that thing is. Now. Do you see those? They're wild monsters. Just bump into one and get the action started. This is it, doll. Your first audition. Big smile now. You're gonna be somebody. Hey. Right. Ah. Oh. Smoke, Sirloin. Unicorn. Very nice. You're one of us now. Gotta start getting what I can. You scouted a monster already? I tell you, kid, you're gonna go far. All right, one more time. We're feeling. If you want a monster to join your squad, you can either use a show of force, or you can simply defeat them in battle. If they get back up once the fight is won, then they want to team up with you. If you find they aren't willing to join you, try tossing them a beastie treat or two. When you scout a new monster, but haven't got space in your party, it'll be sent to your monster depot. And Monty can handle the details. So if you want to know more, just ask him. Nice. Ah, spring. Is there a finer season? Just look at those gorgeous flowers. But you know, the times, they are a-changing. <laughs> now it's summer. Feel that sunlight sizzle. Oh, look over there. Do you see that ivy? In summer, the greenery gets a growth spurt. I wonder if that ivy can take your weight. Looks a bit better Try than the demo. It. What do you say we go a little further? Walk with me, would you, kid? I'll walk. Let's scout some monsters first.
Monsters back at the depot. Can't be that high of a level. Fizzy, what else? Wouldn't you know it? Here we are in autumn already. You'll find heaps of leaves all over the place at this time of year. Knock yourself out. Go investigate. What say we regroup at that big waterfall at the back there? What do we got? Ah. I should be able to take down a Dracky Scout one. Come on. 
one of us now. Very nice. We got Zam. Right. I could start on my way of getting Kazamo. It's cold in winter, and the water's frozen solid. <gasps> hey, I bet you could walk on it. No problemo. Wow, what a sight. The waterfall's turned into a block of ice. I wonder what's in that cave. A lot of squids. That's what's in there. When you're done exploring, Let's slip under that arch and see what awaits us beyond. And I think there's a chest in there. What's in here? Oh. Oh yeah, vials. All right. Oh, so I really do like how this game is. If I could keep the HUD off, I would play it like this the entire time. But let's just continue so uh, we can get the music back on.
Yep. Topic of monster wrangling. You pass the audition with flying colours! As a reward for scoring the role, let me teach you a handy little spell. Nice. That'll let you return to any place you've already visited quick as a flash. It's sure to come in handy. Now that's a wrap. See you back at the village. Now, I'll be back in the village in a minute. I just want to... I'm not the other places here. Because there's a few other spots I want to get marked down before we continue. We do get mounts in this game. I know that was a thing in some of the Dragon Quest Joker game, Joker's games. There was a mount. This is place is too big to not have a mount. They move the Cyclops all the way over here? Or was it always spawning here? Now, I'm not even remembering whether or not it is. Oh. If I need to, I'll come back to get the monsters in the compendium. And we unlock it, I think. By the way. Oh, hold up. I almost forgot to tell you. Any new critter you scout when traveling in your party that's already full will be sent to the monster depot. 
can find the Monster Depot in the paddock, which you can get to from the teleporter in the middle of it to the village. I'll prepare the teleporter so you can come and go as you please. Head on over there and talk to Zachariah. If you're keen to hear the particulars. Oh, and there was something else, actually. Uh, pop by me... Pop by me shop later on and I'll explain. Yeah, alright. Alright, let's check it. So now we have access to my demo monsters. Sorrow, this paddock here is my pride and joy. For I attend the monsters you befriend. From here, I can also help you swap monsters you take around with you. If you need any access to monster store here, just give me a shout. Right then, I'll talk like the present. Yeah, we're switching out right now. Bam. Hunter a shot. Uh, Hunter mech. And you. Oh, they're level two. And then I'm gonna have to grind a bit. I'll just put these in my party. Slime's level 3. Climber, Blazer, Outlaw, Charmer, Crack Aficionado, Boosh Aficionado, Blade Maven, and Healer. I think that's good. Cheerio! Let's uh, grind a bit and get some spells. Before we go on to the next part. Thank you. 
I don't think I'll get that much past whoosh at this rate. Single enemy, single enemy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not until we get crackle that we get multi enemies. Eh, that should be fine. instructions All right zoom What you got from me, Monty? How you do? How do, Sardo? I hope you should turn up. As he tells me, you show real promise as a monster wrangler. Father like son, I suppose. Your old man being Rodolfo. Tyrant, the master of monster kind and all. I recall you saying you wanted to get even with the old man one day. Are you still dead set on revenge? Yeah. Let's see. Hang on, I think I just know the... I think I know just the thing. What you need, lad, is to enter your first monster mega brawl. Way off to the west of here, there's a big town called Endor. That's where monster wranglers go to test their metal in the heat of battle. Yep. I reckon if you were to make a name for yourself there, your dad might just sit up and take notice. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The path I'm proposing is a perilous one. Are you ready for this? Good yeah. lad. Now, without further ado, let me make the necessary arrangements. Ta-da! This here's a handy teleportal. It'll take you to Endor in a jiffy. Set your sights on winning the Category G contest, for starters. I know you'll do us proud, lad. Thank you, Monty. Do it. I've seen you around before, handsome. Come to me if you want to enter the mega monster mega brawl. 
by the eight categories as newcomer eligible for category G, the lowest rank. All you have to do is defeat three opponents, health is restored at the end of each battle, so don't be afraid to go all out. Do you want to have a go? Yeah. Come on. Ten gold. Challenger approaches the world of the monster Mega Brawl. Let's welcome all the way from Rose Hill, the handsome stranger. Facing him is another newcomer, a would-be warrior known for his all-round pleasant demeanor. It's Clancy. All right, Clancy. Ooh. Got some good ones. And now it's time for the first bout. Let's brawl! Just auto battle. The handsome stranger takes the first match. Do we have a new rising star on our hands? The crowd sure seems to think so. But who will he face in the second round? It's the category G heavyweight ready to put you in a spin. Uncle Trevor. Very nice. No time to waste. The second bout is about to begin. Let's brawl. The handsome stranger does it again, storming through the second round. Who could have seen this coming? Judging by our winner, looks really can kill. But now it's time for the final round. And look who we have here. He'll pulverize you between his mighty wheels of steel, DJ Meat Grinder. As we approach the grand finale, let's find out who will maul and who will ball. Let the third bout begin. Let's brawl! But heal more of a priority.
Sensational! From out of nowhere, the winner of Category G is... The Ever Enigmatic Handsome Stranger! Give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen! Nice. Very nice. I get some strong medicine for now conquering Now we're G. going to take a quick break from the Monster Mega Brawl for something ever so slightly special. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, you will see a bona fide elf freshly caught this morning. Yeah! Now here's a funny thing. When this here elf cries, genuine rubies fall from her eyes. How delightful! Go on, make her cry. Oh boy. I reckon you can make a pretty packet flogging them rubies. God, just imagine it. Roll up, roll up. Which lucky punter will be first to snap up one of these highly prized rubies? I'll take one, good sir. Sold to that fine fella. Now, if you please. Hurr! Cry, you scurvy little elf. If I don't see a blubbin, you'll be walking the plank. Would you look at that? Ruby tears as I live and breathe. What the? It shattered at the slightest touch. Now, just what are you trying to pull? Uh, calm down, sir. I, I can assure you this is all completely above board. Uh, just uh, give me a second. Oi! Oh, Ralph! She's only gone and done a runner. Just wait till I get hold of ye. Timbers, that scallywag of an elf certainly be quick on her feet. Ho ho ho! I see. Ye be hiding there, you no good scurvy dog. Now, just ye come quietly like a good little elf. Or. Floy? Is somebody there? Gotta save me! Oh, help me! Did you... Did... Did you do that? Nah. Wasn't me. Rose. 
People have been saying what I say a lot. I'm so sorry I couldn't save you. Are you hurt? I'm fine. I'm sorry I made you worry. Um, so, what's your name? What an unusual fellow. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Listen to this, Your Highness. Come on, I wanted to hear that. Who's at the door, I wonder? How dare you interrupt Bluebert? Bluebert. Salutations! I'm Devlin. Nice to meet you. Uh, and I'm... Well, I'm Rose. Rose, you say? So you must be the elf my master rescued, then. I am. You have my deepest gratitude for saving me. By way of thanks, I've brought you some tasty nuts. And, um, well, uh, the thing is... Please, my saviour, I beseech you. Allow me to remain here by your side. W what? Go away! Don't be like that, your highness. <laughs> the more the merrier. We'll have a great slime together, I know it. Oh, please! I'll do all I can to support you, I swear! I know you won't regret it. When those humans snatched me, I thought my life was over! But you saved me, and now I want to repay you! Okay, okay. <sighs> Excited, didn't I? Uh, how embarrassing. What? You're saying no? Do you know how hard it was to find this place? All we had was the name to go on. And all the while, we had to stay out of sight of any humans. We risked our lives. I heard from the villagers that you're looking for a way to lift your curse. That's right, isn't it? Well, there's no one better than an elf to break a curse. I can help you find the cure. I know I can. Did you hear that, Your Highness? Rose says she can find a way to break your curse. I heard. That's right. And that's why you have to let me stay. Please say you will. Fine. Oh, that's such a relief. I promise you won't regret this. You'll see. few days later to be honest I can't believe it Humans? This 
close to the village. That was a narrow escape. Let's hurry back and tell the prince. Seriously. It took us a few days to build that tower? I almost can't believe it. All this just for me. Room. Still, I couldn't be happier. I truly am blessed to be able to spend my days with you. Don't worry, you won't be lonely. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Thank you. my prince forever and ever hmm. hey. <laughs> focus on winning the next mega brawl category in endor I've seen the headlines, darling, and you're making quite a splash in the world of monster wrangling. Well, I'm just over the moon, and isn't me, are you looking better than ever? You diet? Do tell. Anywho, since you've been busy making some Omega Star, I thought it was high time I did a little something for you. I can use my extensive connections to put you face to face with monster wrangler VIPs from other worlds. Why not test your medal against them? That's not all, I'm giving you access to very exclusive retail experience. Only the best for you, my superstar. How you doing? The online shop. Uh... Yeah, sure. Items on offer in the online shop change daily, come back and blah blah. The online shop changes frequently, and you use gold to buy stuff here. Mega Medicine. Is that Ooh. Okay, we got. We got scrolls to teach teach talents. Okay. Ah, oh, that's all for today. Zap is nice though. I'm sorry. What? Increase the amount of EXP and gold coins earned by battle by 1.5. Dude, I am keeping this in case we start grinding off the green dragon again. Increases it from 2,000 to 3,000 EXP.
Okay, hold on. Other turn off auto save. It'll still save if I go into network connections, but still. I'll go back to title screen. I want to see if I can get my downloadable contents right now. Hold on for a second, because I got I got some costumes, I think. I start set. Falling has already been claimed. Okay, so I'll get it after a certain point. Head over to the shed in the paddock. I speak to Donny Mole when you're ready to take up the challenge. Gothic vestment. Key items. Head over to the paddock and speak to the mimic there. All right. Very nice. Us. Monstrous male. And the cake maker's cobbler. A clobber. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Five hundred and twenty-three different monsters. Alright. allows you to reunite with monsters you welcome into your party previously after reaching a certain point in the story Donnyone will appear in the hut in the paddock giving you access to mole hole get the most of the chance to invite rare monsters into your party again or find good candidates for synthesis later. Uh, give me back the gothic vestment. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Can I still zoom from in here? Okay, no, they still didn't change that. You can zoom from anywhere, even indoors. Eh. Hello there. 
I'm fine with that. Do you want to have a come on? Yeah, man, let's do category F. Gentlemen, entering the category F tournament is the novice supernova. All the way from Rose Hill, it's the sensationally skilled Silent Stunner. And facing him, classy like a ballerina, but downright nasty in the arena, it's Lady Aurelia. And not a bad team. Now on with the opening bout. Let's brawl! But we should still be fine. Ooh, they outspeed all of us. He said. Squishy. Focus on healing. The silent stunner struts through the first round. This novice is no joke. He's making a real splash. But who is he facing in round two? None other than Lady Long, draconic beast from the distant east. Watch out, she'll strike like lightning. Oh, this is actually a pretty tough team, though. No time to waste. It's time for the second bout. Let's brawl! Let me just check Squishy to make, to make sure. This is where it gets hard. Oh, I'm sure you can do better than that. Cheer up, lad. You're the novice supernova, remember? There's nothing like good old-fashioned experience. Go and bash some wild monsters and just watch your beasties flourish. Ha. Huh. Zoom! Uh, 
keep training, I guess. starting area other than waiting till winter and finding the things up uh, north of here other than that I really don't know I need to be training something else because I'm not getting that much EXP anymore. Uh, and it used to be raining too. I could have gotten Wing Slime. I can't really synthesize until I beat rank F. Squishy. What, uh, what skills can my dragon have again? Fire breath. Switch you up. strength ring which you will benefit from scholar specs which wisdom really isn't that good in this game I believe From what I can remember it only affects critical hit rate for spells a I mean, good but not that good And you can have the Stardust Earrings. I'm just going to send them back so I can release them and hopefully get some, uh, something useful. Yeah! Because they do get seeds if you release them. One of us now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Then hopefully I get I can get magic seeds to give to my Jargon. You really can use it. We got the uh... Zoom! Yeah, I think we could get the uh... Dragon Thorn. During this season. I need to climb one of these things. Yeah, see, the XP gain is very low at this point. It takes a long time just to get anything done. That is huge! It's not large, is it? Okay. Yeah. Not large, just a big dragon thorn. Dragon Thorn is relatively big. Now. You're one of us now. some monsters all of them delete release all of them there we go uh, a couple of seeds of life some magic some resili a lot of resilience some wisdom and one skill Oh. Top. breath isn't that strong the way it is. But it does hit all enemies.
Here we go. As much as I just release them all, I'm actually going to be <laughs> using a wing of slime to replace the, the hood. I don't think I'm going to be fusing that anytime soon, so that'll be fine. Switch you out. I'll probably get better accessories later on, but uh, this should be good. Should have given the C to the wing slime. I really should have just waited until it rained to get a wing slime. So I can have something that has a whoosh aficionado. Oh, you do have six. Oh, right, 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 right. Ah. Gonna have to level up everyone in a lot. All right, here's the grinding segment. Actually, hold on. Wendy. Have Wendy go first. Six talent points. Okay. I knew there was something off. Everyone's gaining SP slowly. Probably because they're higher. Uh, from further along. <laughs> That's fine. Zoom. Okay, let's try it again.
Alright. Do enough? you want to have a go? Wait, hold on. Can you switch up, switch up some tactics a little bit? Climb, boosh, high priority, do not use accelerator. Right. No, don't waste it. Do you want to have a I believe Do this again. Let's just get back to the battle where we now lost. On with the opening The silent stunner struts through. No time to waste. All right, hopefully we win this time. Should be fine. Never did like that Bodkin Archer. Round two goes to the silent stunner. Now that really was a ferociously fiery fight. But here's our man, cool as a cucumber. He doesn't look even remotely phased. Now for his last opponent, it's the trash-talking terror, the bequiffed basher, gorgeous Gordon! Gordon? Oh, I forgot he has a large monster. It's time to head to our dramatic conclusion. Who will maul and who will bowl? Let the third and final bout begin. Let's brawl! You see monsters in more than one size, even those of the same type. There are small monsters, S and large monsters, L. Large monsters come with better step attributes, but they take up more space in the party due to their bulky nature. Yeah, I think they can attack up to twice.
occasionally entered a frenzy state that lasts for three rounds. The duration of frenzy state not only with the monsters that attributes develop, but they also gain an extra action. Three attacks! Ah, it's terrible! Yeah, gotta be kidding me. Give up. Seriously, they had to cast Fuddle. And it had to hit just about all my spellcasters. Oh, I'm sure you can do but there's not How much gold do I still have? 130. Do you want to let Now, on with it. Uh, that was just bad luck. I want to do it again. I do better. And uh, for those who don't know, fighting is just auto battle anyway, so. Yeah. And I can't target enemies, so it's literally RNG and how you're gonna be doing in the battle. All you could do is no time to waste. prep hey. the tactics and instructions beforehand. This is looking. But anyway. Let's do this last fight Round once two more. Goes to this. Fight Let three. The third and Did I say fight three? Fight three. Sure was the bag of laughs that did that.
finally. Victory. Unbelievable! The winner of Category F is... The Silent Stunner! Let's give him a big round of applause. And some cheers too, come on! I can't believe it! You're really something else! Here's your prize for winning Category F. Portion of Monster Munchies. It wouldn't surprise me if you won Category S one day. I'm expecting big things from you, young man. Well, we'll see. Meow, do you do? Oh, have I set the cat among the pigeons? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm perfectly friendly. My name is Fergie, talent spotter extraordinaire for the Monster Mauling Association. Tell me, are you really fulfilled by this trifle of attorney? You could be squaring up to far mightier monsters at the Maulaceum in Nadiria. Seriously, I'm not kidding. So, fancy going and finding out for yourself? Yes. Music to my ears. Now, if you're heading to Nadiria, you'll need this. That, my friend, is Travelite, a hallowed hunk of stone created by elves in the dim and distant past. Use it right, and you'll be able to travel to Nadiria at a stroke. Now, I don't mean to let the cat out of the bag, but I understand there's an elf in your village. She'd be the perfect candidate to teach you how to use Travelite, so I suggest having a word. Mew hoo hoo! Well, I guess I'll catch you in Nadiria. Let's go to Nigeria. It'll be fun. <sighs> you on top of category F. Must make dinner extra special to celebrate. You have something you want to show me? Gosh, that was so pretty. Wait, is that? No, is that what I? It is a piece of travel. Travelite was made by elves long, long ago to open the way to Nadiria. It's a stuffed legend. How did you find a piece? I see, and he asked you to visit him there? Well, in that case, you'll need me to open the way for you. Yeah, we're gonna need to train a lot more. So, we're gonna need to get to Nadiria. I am about to perform a traditional elvish dance. I hope you'll enjoy it. It's been some time, though. I only hope I remember the steps. Yeah.
take a look outside. There were always legends back home that Travelite could open the way to Nadiria. To think they were true. My prince. Um, did I... Did that help? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's a relief. By the way, Travelite comes in other varieties. With the right kind, we could visit all sorts of places in Nadiria. Back in Rose Hill, I didn't venture outside my room just as you asked. So I was thinking, seeing as we're in Nadiria now, where I'm safe from humans, Maybe I could join you on your adventures here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I'm so pleased. Thank you ever so much. Rose joins Psar. to Terrestria, you can do so via the magic circle. But first, let's explore Nadiria. Oh, I could just zoom there. Zoom is ever so useful. Who needs Travelite when you could just zoom? Zoom! And I won't be able to synthesize any monsters until the next area, so... <laughs> Let's win this next bout. Uh. Circle of Conquest, lower echelon. Under the laboratory is going to be useful right now. Association. Virgil, you say? Did you provide us with that travel light by any chance? Indeed. I'm happy to see you made good use of it. This is the Circle of Conquest, one of the six realms of Nadiria. Each realm is divided into three parts, which we call the lower, middle, and upper echelons. Yep. Right now, we're in the lower echelon. It's home to weak monsters. But that's fine for a fledgling monster wrangler such as yourself. So, that would make this the lower echelon of the Circle of Conquest. Is that right? Precisely. And at the heart of it all is the Maulaceum, Nadiria's one and only battle arena. That's where monster rangers from far and wide gather to test their skills in battle. And you should too. Didn't you say you wanted to enter a tournament at the Maulaceum? We should go and take a look. Yeah, sure. But we gotta train a bit. Be strong, gotta be into top sheep in order to take on the Maliseum.
uh, what exactly get uh, way strong at this point. Not really much past level ten here. We'll get close, and then we'll take on the Molosseum. And try to ignore the shielded ones. Slime is just getting a lot, a lot of talent points. I don't really think wind cycles are going to be any good this time, right now, but ah, what does it do? Single enemy, thin air. Flex medium when elemental damage on all enemies. The higher the user's level, the greater the damage will be inflicted. Huh. Alright. I'm already maxing that skill out. I hope I can find uh, someone who's. Uh, looked at what skill trees they got here. At the very least, leveling up fully heals your hit, your monster. I just love taking on skeletons. They always come in groups, and I like that. really be able to grind all that much until I could be able to take on field bosses.
I mean, I could probably get close to... I could probably actually get to level 10 at this point. Mac has. Is it finally has Gust Slash? Action. And storm. Not sure if I'll be using that. But it's nice to have. In case I'm taking direct control, but yeah, not using that. Him. Eh. Aha. Bad medicine, hold on. That's a new item to me. <laughs> Bad medicine inflicts a single enemy with a range of debilitating effects. Shielded ones. 
despite being the skeletons. Not shields. I mean, I'll probably just get them to 10 and then start the Molosseum. Just give me a minute. I'll take down some skellies. high enough level to withstand the Molosseum. I hope you didn't have too tough a time getting here. Virgil! So, how were the monsters? Did you have any trouble making new friends? No. Oh. Well, you say that, but you can't hide the truth from me. The denizens of this place won't join up with any old monster wrangler. Only those with a reputation. Most echelons in Nadiria have a big hitter, and beating them will do wonders for your reputation. But things are different here. 
You'll need to come out on top in Category G in the Morlaceum to boost your rep. And if you win, you'll be able to bag yourself a great prize. So, there's plenty to fight for. It sounds like winning Category G is your top priority if you want to scout the local monsters. Shall we head in? I'd like to learn more about this place. Yeah, we'll do it. In, in, oh no, never mind. I'm healed. Let's do this. Hello there. Good night to you and welcome to the infamous Coliseum. You're new around here, aren't you? Well, to register you, I'll need a name. I don't have slime to chew. Splat with tourists? Try. It seems you'd rather go incognito. Jelly, interesting indeed. In that case, I'll register, I'll register you under a pseudonym. Anam de... Where? If you like. Okay, I put you down as the cryptic kid. The rules are simple. Win three battles, you'll be crowned the champion of the category. Your monsters will be fully healed after each battle, so don't hold back. And voila, you're fully registered. Are you gonna enter the tournament right away? Do you want to enter? Yeah, category G. It should be good. Welcome, one and all, to the Morlucium's Category G Tournament. It's time to introduce our competitors. I gotta ask, what kind of monster is this? Cause this is the first time I'm seeing this kind of monster. First up, his identity unknown. His origin a mystery. We know him only by his enigmatic alias, the Cryptic Kid. His opponent is a cold-hearted killer, an ice-born frozen thriller. It's. Jock Frost. Jock Frost. Oh boy. The first matchup is about to commence. On your marks, get set. Kill. The winner of the first bout is the Cryptic King! Who could have predicted this outcome? Does this herald the arrival of a new dark horse? His next opponent scalps zombies with the steady dexterity of a trained medical professional. It's Sir Jerry! Eh? Hey. Oof. The second matchup is about to commence. On your marks, get set, kill!
Oi, oi, oi. There you have it. The victor of our second bout. The cryptic kid. We're witnessing a meteoric rise of unprecedented proportions. Give it up for the cryptic kid! His next foe is a dedicated deviant who dares to deviate from the standard. It's Stats Beetle! Oh, yeah. The final matchup is about to commence. Are you ready for action? This is it. On your marks, get set. Cool. That's a pretty good final damage. What the heck? You gotta be kidding me. What the heck attack was that? Lucky I was prepared for that. What attack was that, though? There we have it! The Category G winner is none other than... The Mysterious Monster Wrangler, whose name remains hidden behind anonymity. The Cryptic Kid. Sarah's reputation grows across the lower echelon of the circle of conquest. The local monsters will be much easier to scout. Thank you. Go away! You're pretty strong! Here's your prize for winning Katagui G. Yellow travel light. I think you're ready to step up a category next time. <laughs> I'll be rooting for you. Hey, yeah, but not now. We need to continue the story. Well, well, someone looks like the cat who got the cream. You're known across this echelon now. The local monsters are sure to take a shine to you now. That second piece of Travelite you won should give us access to another circle of Nadiria. Indeed. And you're bound to meet many more powerful monsters there. Well, shall we return to the tower and head to the next circle of Nadiria? <laughs> oh. Is proceeding as planned. It's a good thing we can't hear this guy who's talking right behind us. But you're still far too weak to wrest the throne from your father. You must grow stronger. <laughs> Zoom! Oh. If we want to go to the next circle of Nadiria, we'll need to head home first, so I can perform the rite of passage. Well then, Rose Hill, here we come. Mysterious forces preventing me from zooming. to the next circle.
And here we go. What do you reckon? I was hoping to see you, Absaro, my lad. Now you've grown so much already, and you seem... Not only seem stronger than before, but I'm wondering... Wouldn't you like to know how to make use of monster synthesis to create different monsters? Yes. The word. Then. Synthesis melds the essences of two monsters together to make a new, mightier little beastie. I should make it clear, though, lad, that you can only synthesize monsters that are t level 10 and higher. You hear? Now, does this mean bidding farewell to the monsters who volunteered for synthesis, I'm afraid? Uh, that's enough out of me for now. What did you say? Don't know. You perform procedure down in the basement of the tower. I'll see you there, lad. Thank you, Monty. Ooh. You've been a real help, Monty. But for now... Off to the next circle. Dragon's level 8. Slimes is level 8. I need to get them to level 10 because I know that there's a next, another big rank up. Fuse them together. as I can before I reach the first zoom point.
previews of the oh monster um, showcase trailer that uh, a sucky bat and a slime can create a dark slime. There's also a fusion between the s a normal slime, <clears throat> excuse me, a normal slime and the jargon into a rank E uh, monster. Almost. Oh, now I got Accelerator. Uh, still getting removed. Come on, Dragon, you're the last one. Get to the <clears throat> place where me and the place where needing go. Before anything else. Dragal Nook. More visitors, how unusual. This is the village of Dragal Nook. And you can bet I'll be keeping an eye on you while you're here. But if you come about a little problem, then you should rock on over and speak to Norbert. He's, a, he's in a whole heap of trouble. Thank you. Norbert! Dearie, dearie me. Poor boy, stuck in a rat. Stuck like a rat in a trap. No wonder I'm down in the mouse. What are you doing in my nest? What are you doing in my nest? <laughs> You're keen to build up your reputation around these parts, you say? In that case, I suggest you hear me out. The name's Norbert, and I have a rather big favor to ask. 
I need you to save my son. Oh dear. Is he in trouble? He is. Big trouble. A massive burst of molten lava came down the mountain, cutting us off from the rest of the region. I only survived by a whisker. But my boy got trapped on the other side. Oh, that's terrible. It's all Bernie's fault. He's the youngest of the Brimstone boys. He caused all this by opening that infernal gate. He also happens to be the big hit around here. If you could defeat him, he would do wonders for your rep. Could you close the infernal gate while you're there? I've got just the thing to seal the di- Hey! My green rock, it's gone! But how? Your oh, indeed. green rock? It was right here. Well, I'm sure I'll find it by the time you get back. Please, just save my boy. All right. Oh, thanks a million. The infernal gate is in a cave nearby. Please, make sure you shut it and stop the lava. Alright, before that, Zoom. gotta head back to the tower and start synthesizing. Start synthesizing all this stuff. Yep, there we go. Now, what can I actually get out of this? <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, still need some more, but um, let's do Behemoth Slime. Ooh, hold on. Take a particular note of the suggested parent combinations that have a gold frame portrait because these are indeed special. There's some rather unexpected outcomes to discover, but you can increase your chances of finding one by scouting as many different monsters as possible. Behemoth Slime. Dude. I like this guy. And he can, he's a zapper, too. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Behemoth slime. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Look at him. Oh, you can stand to be bigger. Alright, now let's fuse the succubat and you. Make a dark slime. A dark slime. It's not the dark slime that I like, but it's a pretty good dark slime. Hmm. Plus it has Zam. It's Zammer. Oh, Scrapper. Pretty good. Let's do it. Thanks for it. Ah. It would be Bluster. Okay. I'll keep Prankster at Agility Boost. Yeah, let's do it. Zap effect a group. I'm not 
sure. Ooh. Bag of Laughs is also there. Common. Common earring. Talent points. Nice. Single enemy. Okay. It doesn't become all enemies until it becomes Zapple. So. Let's switch it off for a bit. Accessories. Yeah, you can keep that for now, but um, you can have the scholar specs, and you can have the wisdom ring. Nice. Especially you're good the way you are. Let's train him more. Train a bit more. I'm not really at the right stage in order to do anything else but train. Zap, uh, no lightning slash.
I gotta take a shortcut right through here. I just have to pass the dragon. No, it's not 200 each. It's 200 after the fact. Three. Okay, I don't know what it is, but it's pretty high up there. And they don't hit too hard, so it's easy to grind off of. Got them. Okay, never mind. Us now. You're one of us now. <sighs> Level. Level 10. Ooh, very nice. Uh, synthesize this so we could get more uh, talent points. Because he's gonna need it. He's not doing that well in gaining skill points. Talent points, whatever. What do you reckon? Synthesis. You and you will give me back this. There's only eight. Oh, that spark. I got a shiny one, too. Come, my shiny cyclone. Come again.
There we go. Knuckle sandwich. Give again. 150. That's alright. Yeah, I'll have to fuse it, fuse it anyway, so. Won't have him for long. Won't have him train for long. damaging spells. Scrapper. Sometimes it allows the monster to survive at 1 HP after suffering a hit that would otherwise kill it. Sobering slap. Sometimes cures allies to sleep and confusion during battle. 
and greatly increases the damage done by element dark elemental attacks. But this is the same with just with Zapper, but detox. Sometimes cures allies of poison and severe poison and paralysis during battle. Aha. Uh -huh. Pretty similar. Let's try to get a drama bomb. Bongo drama. Bongo drama. Smoke sirloin. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> hmm. Fortifier, which would be nice, but hold on. Back to the tower. See if I can't scout one of those shadows, cause Zam seems to be a pretty good skill, but uh, my Draki doesn't have. Hmm. Should I keep Bluster? Eh. Dark slime is nice, but I want to fuse it with something else. I'm not sure what. But we'll figure that out. Synthesis. Ooh, the dolphin? Okay, bubble slime goodie bag. I like that. Enfeebler. <laughs> Makes it easier to confuse the enemy. Regular attacks sometimes confuse the enemy. Sometimes confuse enemies then inflict direct attacks <laughs> okay oh wait hold on tongue bashing that may be good oh, I want that I want to use that I like that I like the goodie bag Yeah, I'll do it. Hmm. Okay. Enfeebler. Fortifier. Oh. Fortifier, then enfeebler. And bluster, because I don't don't really have any attacks, so whoosh can still be useful.
Look at him. He's so happy. a monster. Deceleratal. Oh, that's what wisdom is for then. Which you're going to have high wisdom. Accelerate, accelerate, sap, dim, blunt. Wasn't there one that makes an enemy weaker to spells? But this is what I want, tongue bashing. That's a very nice, a very nice skill. Reduces the enemy's defense to one and stuns it. Currents happen. Hmm. 
because I can still give them an element, an elemental spell to use against everything, even if they don't uh, have high power to use it. the water element. Back again. Elemental magic would suit the goodie bag. Because I gotta say, I know is my name. My one of my favorite monsters in this game would be that slime. But if any monster would take the second uh, place as my favorite monster, it has to be anything that resembles a mimic. Including the goodie bag, I will just love now. their happy look. They just look so fun. I am maybe. This is. Because having two win elementals doesn't really seem that good. That worth it. My behemoth slime will become a zapper. Uh, later on, so gotta think about the future. Oh, nice. I just want to focus on getting stronger spells. Other than, other than that, we're just going to have whoosh. When we should be getting swoosh. We need that swoosh. We can't have whoosh. I know we're at the beginning of the game, but I want the strongest spells. Can have frenzied states? Yeah, see? Not good if he's resistant to magic. Deceleratal.
I'm trying to think what to do about the dragon. Because the green dragon has a lot of power behind it, but it also has breath attacks. squishy, so I mean, I'm probably going to fuse him later, but... I had to switch off something because I need to start grinding off the green dragon as quick as possible. For that, I'm gonna need some frogs. Because frogs are the only way that I can get water elementals. Which the dragon is weak to. And the frog can fuse into something that is very powerful with water. And that's what we're gonna use. Come here! Plan, man. Get on, buddy. Now. Nice. Yeah. Let me meet you. Now. Zoom. I forget which monster it has to be fused with to get uh, the thing I need. So let's just look around. Where we can. Thank <laughs> you. 
one of us now. Oh, you do learn to splash if you out of it. Okay. strikes an enemy when the monster's confused. Successful strikes like critical hits. Actually, that's pretty good. Splishmeister. Ultimate Splasher. Ultra Crap Splasher. The Puff Poise. Yeah, let's do it. I just need to get rid of the Zap Aficionado to add to this thing. Splish. Not anything else. Zoom! Pretty good monster. All in all. Deals very powerful splash damage. Splish damage. We splish splashing everywhere. With our puff boys.
drains MP from the enemy. That's nice, but I'm not going to use it. We have an idea, hold on. Well, not much of an idea, but, uh... Um... Zoom! Bush isn't really doing that much right now. Did I just go back to the first area? Some of them will go to be back Hunter Mech. in the back row, bring out the hunter mech. Items. I'll save that. Hatchet man.
The Krakow Slash. Tough Poise. Needs uh, 17 more in order to max out that and get the next tier of water. been going fine. I'm enjoying the uh, grinding. The new Dragon Quest game. That's what we'll be doing for a bit though. So thank you for stopping by. Doing, by doing a long stream of this. I don't mind though. Dragon Quest is one of my all time favorite games. play here and that's usually RPGs. Usually RPGs at one point that uh, most of the time hardly deviate from many RPGs uh on this channel. I just enjoy playing them. Do you have a favorite kind of game to play? Been to Dragon Quest? I wouldn't say I stream daily. It's, uh... Whenever I can during the week. And it's usually by the end of the days that I start up my stream. Just started it... Closer to 8pm today, but... 
Yeah, things came up. So, here I am right now. gone from three to five hours. Is my usual time. That depends on how I feel during each stream. That's usually around that time. This Sonicon was the one who learned Insulatal. Right now it's in the I'm streaming in the wee hours in the morning. So yeah, it's pretty late out here. That's fine for me. The weekend after all. How much to it? Speech is a bit uh, slurred, it's a bit late uh, here. I'm not really that um, used to talking. California. Alright, no, that's nice. Never really been there. Yeah, Heather. What you need? Uh, sorry if I'm not talking a lot. Um, I kind of get uh, in the zone whenever I start grinding, and I kind of.
kind of space out on everything else. from gaming. track with other uh, content creators not sure if you would call that much of that uh, uh, much of a hobby but I do collect uh, f uh, figurines well, not figurines uh, collectibles from video games One of us now. Uh, I should have checked what recipes I used to make the sucky bat. Only in the third area, I still need to remember all these recipes. Wikipedia for this. Dusted uh. combinations, ant guzzler, and some sort of dragon. Airbagging. 
think maybe it's this and that guzzler can't remember Hold on a second. Winter. Let me go back to Windburn Bluffs. Get a couple of monsters here. Hmm. One of us now. The dragon. These dragons, I think it's the air dragon.
soon! making a box line out of that. Platapunk? Oh no, it's the higher level of Platapunk. Magic Maven. Riz Crack, Sears Woof, Splash and Boom. Has all magic. Increases damage inflicted on monsters with the material family and slight lowers all resistances. Greatly increases wisdom after a critical spell. And
close to the next level of wind. Yeah. I still get inside. Twenty one more points. Next tier is mine. How much does it give? A good amount. Oh, got him anyway. Nice. Yeah. Let's leave him over there. It's fine. Is gonna now get the next tier, but uh, I don't know. I think I have something. Zoom. Turn from splish. Got the splash.
I'm just making sure. Splash Virtuoso. Splash. Very nice. Nice damage. A blunt. Ah, right. Pretty good.
150 in order to get a splash -le. Well, that is nine away from getting swoosh and the rest of the swoosh family skill tree. One of us now. Zoom to fuse for this again. Super Trooper. Oh, this thing. Bangmeister, Wooshmeister, Wizardly Waft. Sometimes restores one or more MP to all allies during battle. Higher the level increases the story map. You get Bang Aficionado. Sure. Hey. Fuck bomb. Oh, you got martyr though. Sure, let's go with Cooper Trooper. Hey, okay. what was the what did I use for you? I can check the demo, but I need the demo again. I just had to do it. Outlaw and Fortifier. Okay. Bang, boom. Ooh, trooper. I got the bang in the wind. I don't think I was going to use those anyway. Come again. Wait a minute, did I fuse? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I'm... How do? It's this. Get another hunter mech. Refresh what I got. Come 
Zoom! No wait. No points. At forty five, forty seven from Blade Maven. A lot for you. Inflicts heavy slashing damage on monsters of the material family. Hmm. All right. Ooh, multi slash is now available. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's not bad. Fifteen for you. You know what? I think I can afford to go further. We'll get there. Actually, wait. No, I think there's one more level for my side clown in order to get the next. Uh, Tier spells. Let me do that first. I think it's at level 12.
There we go. Oosh. Zoom! Short draw, so and all this. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. A swoosh. There we go. Major wind, wind elemental damage to enemies. Very nice.
Well, now it's quite easy. We've gone to the point where I can uh, comfortably grind with one character. At least with these guys. What do you reckon? Final oh, Drongo. 
Bang Virtuoso. And it's shiny. Getting a lot of sparkles this a lot of sparkles this train. Kaboom. Very nice. Kills all enemies without the cost of the caster's life. The caster cannot be resurrected in the same battle. Ooh, okay, so they changed this. The higher the caster's MP, the more likely the spell is to succeed. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Interesting. Zoom! So that's how they balanced it out for online player. They changed or they included magic burst. I'm not sure if magic burst is in the game. I think it was in the first Dragon Quest monsters. Because that was after six. And magic burst was in that game. Where they changed it. I think I could continue now. Bother. 
<laughs> Seems things have gotten a little dicey. The discombobulator's a real lifesaver. Glad I swiped it from the village back there. Pardon me. Are you all right? <gasps> Wait! Are you a human? Well, well. An elf mixing with monster kind. How intriguing. <sighs> what in the world are you doing here? Okay, first things first. The name's Trouble. Toilin Trouble. I'm a researcher of magic. Okay, we're gonna get along just swimmingly. I came to Nadiria in search of treasure. Like this nifty little number I pocketed earlier. Hmm? If you've got a problem with me, monster boy, don't bite your tongue. Can't stomach a little petty theft, huh? That's a bit rich coming from one of your kind. You're the one who stole the green rock. Is that <gasps> Travelite? Huh? Oh, this. I stole it from that rat's horrible little hovel. Do you need it by any chance? I suppose I could hand it over. Huh. You'd like that, wouldn't you, monster boy? Yeah. Well, either way, I guess you're no fan of receiving stolen goods, am I right? So, what's your plan? Perhaps you'd rather rob me of it instead! Straight. It's wrong to steal, but fine to win something in a fair fight. You know what? I think I'm starting to like you. But I think I've wasted quite enough time on wannabe vigilantes. See you around. should be somewhere inside. Let's be careful as we go. Alright. Rock bomb shards. Oh, it's you. Get over here. The Linkster. I haven't gotten that yet. Doesn't really give that much EXP either. Sick of essence. Eh. I should probably just be avoiding everything in here. Not worth the waste of energy. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's... 
I guess when I can just walk over lava, take some damage, and then just end up fine on the other side. Relatively speaking. Asbestos? Amulet? Armlet? Amulet. Asbestos, amulet, gives yes, Frizz Ward. Probably good with something that's weak to Frizz. Seems like progression, so let's check over here for the dead end. Vampire cats. A chest. Let's see this one. Insulate. And so long as I have my. Character should be fine. Too early. Oh, thank goodness. I thought it was one way. Okay, we're good. We're good. Infernal Gate. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you. What was your name again? Lava. Glorious lava. 
Flow forth and ban all you touch. Ban? <laughs> My brothers are going to be so impressed. What do you two want? We heard you were the big hitter around here. You bet I am. My name's Bernie, the youngest of the Brimstone Boys. Okay, Bernie. Let's do this. Well, would you mind shutting that gate? It's causing no end of trouble. Yeah? Why should I care? I'll have you know that opening this gate is a big part of our plan. And I'm not about to let you two get in our way. On guard! Let's get him! Yes, Otto. is gone. Hmm. 30 more for you to get to Splashle. This kid can really fight. Just wait till my big brothers hear about this. You'll be in trouble then. I'll remember you. Our reputation grows across the lower echelon circle temper. I'm not sure I want to meet his brothers. Well, no sense in worrying about it now. Let's close that gate. It's a lever that looks like it may well operate the infernal gate. Try pushing it. Yeah. Now I'm surprised a lever like this controls a big gate like that all by itself. Here we go. And now more is open up to me. Great work! It looks like that did the trick. Now. Let's make sure that Norbert's poor boy got safely back to Dragglenook. Come on! Those behemoth slime. Oh, those are just normal she slime. Dang, that's a big she slime. Thank you. 
Nice. Here we go. Hiya! Ah, sorry, I owe you so much. Without your help, my boy Nibbler may never have made it home. You really saved my tail! Now, if you recall, I had something I wanted to give you, but I'm afraid I can't find it anywhere. Do you think he might mean the travel light we saw in the cave? Hey there! You wouldn't happen to be talking about this, would you? So you stole it from me. Whoa there. Let's not go making wild accusations. I literally just found this outside. Do you expect me to believe that? Just admit it. You're a thief. Anyway, monster boy, I believe this is what you're after. Here. Well, take it. You. That's not yours to give! Oh, this is wonderful! Now we can travel to a new part of Nadiria! <sighs> well, I suppose I can't be too angry. You did rescue my boy, Whiskers and all. Mm hmm. I do so love a story with a happy ending. Now, without further ado, let's be heading to our next destination. Yes, I suppose you're right. Wait a second. Oh, did I forget to say? I'll be tagging along from here on. You see, I'm scouring the land to find rare ingredients for my thaumaturgic research. Nadiri is bursting with stuff I could never dream of getting back home. The problem is, it's such a pain to get here. You two seem to have it all figured out, though, which makes me think it'd be easiest just to join you. What do you say? Fine. All right, now you're talking. You won't regret it, I promise. All in trouble, joined Sara and Rose. And am I right in thinking you are Rose? Well, It'll be a pleasure traveling together, I'm sure. Uh, yes. I suppose it will. But before we can travel to the next part of Nadiria, we'll need to return to Rose Hill and use the travel light. Take care out there. <laughs> it's a real rat race, but we're rooting for you. <laughs> Come back again one day and we can play together. <laughs> All righty then. Wrong one. 
It doesn't matter, I can just go from the... Oh, okay. Whoa! So you're telling me this entire tower came to Nadiria with you? You wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get here! <sighs> but it seems like that's all behind me now. Come on, let's head back to Rose Hill and prepare for our next adventure! Well, I'm all for it. After all, I'm one step closer to fulfilling my lifelong dream. Then they see that there are six circles at the deer area. I don't know which one's the next one. New circle of Nadiria. All right. The third circle is the circle of indulgence. Ooh. What is this place? <gasps> Everything's made out of cake and candy. Yep, looks pretty sweet. Let's go. It is nice though. You oh. slime. How much XP do you give me? Pretty good amount. Huge. Are you the field boss? Yep, you are. I'm not scouting this one just yet. I'll be back for that. But we're, it's right smack dab in the beginning of the area. Can it's raining candy.
Alright, what does spring do though? Travel. Uh -huh. Mike it. Uh, sweet roll. Oh, I love these chocolate slimes. Look at it. Greetings, welcome to Honeyton. Home sweet home. Here in the sugar rush all day long. Just remember to brush your teeth. Well, I will. Oh, it looks so nice. So sweet. What you got? to buy manky meat and so on okay what's going on winky I think that's what there were are those explorers I spy please you have to see fit to help me! I'm up to my eyeball in trouble! Hey. Who are you? What's the matter? I'm Eileen, but it's my best friend Duffer who's in deep water. He's going to be executed! They say it's because he summoned the unspeakable one. But there's more to this than meets the eye. Please, you have to save Duffer from Raph. He's the big hit around here. Oh! How terrible! So what do you think? You're going to help Eileen, aren't you? A lot of choices, but... Yeah, we're going to do that anyway. I like this place. <laughs> I just knew you'd do the right thing. Right. We've decided to go and see Raph and have him set Duffer free. Y you will? I can't believe it. You'll find him imprisoned you east of here on hot cake heap. Oh my god, hot cakes. <laughs> oh, I could go over hot cake right now. It's gonna be more well it is morning, but it's gonna be breakfast soon. Understood. Come on, you two. We've no time to waste. Um where's Toylan? Probably stealing. Come on. Come on. Where are they hiding the good stuff around here? Do you use a telescope indoors? Huh? Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm totally on board with whatever you're planning. Fear you not. Bet you better share what you take, man. Hey, lay off the accusatory glances. I haven't pinched anything. Yet. <sighs> Honestly. It's always guilty until proven guilty with you, isn't it? No comment, huh? Fine. Be like that. Right. Now, it's high time we left for hot cake heap. Eh, let us in. I want to look around and see if they got stuff. Bam.
Probably should have checked the other area. I'll check it later. Good day, oh, hang a mo. Don't you think a, a match between one of your monsters and one of ours would be tasty? Fromage fray. Dracolite. I have an idea. That's an E rank, right? Let's fuse it with something I got to give me the same E rank. So I can save it for later. Spiny slime. Mortifier. Tip for tat, spiky seal. Yeah. Sleep suppressor. What a fire. Dark artist. Sleep suppressor. I'll take that off your hands. I do like that mechanic. Ooh, what are you? Candy bag! I heard the statue we used to worship. It turns out it was an actual monster all along. It went towards the mountain. Which is just as well because which is just as well because I'm useless in a fight. There's no sugar coating it. Statue. Living statue? Or is it something else? Hmm. Alright. Oh. Let me save.
And I just love this place. I can't wait to see the higher echelons of it. <clears throat> Maybe later. A cake heap. Thank you, Toilet. We have to do something. Fear not, the great toil and trouble is here. Are you ready for snow time? Are you going to give me these gadgets you got? Amazing! The snowstorm caused the honey to set! Whip up a snowstorm in a flash. With Freezy Flakes. Bet you're glad I went to the trouble of stealing it, huh? Yeah, could I have it? You see? You can't deny thievery has its benefits. Ah, uh, Not this again. Look. If it wasn't for this stuff, you'd be up to your eyeballs and honey right about now. I can't believe this is still such a black and white issue for you. <sighs> Why are you so dead against a little light-fingeredness once in a while? What do you say we talk this out? Fine. Zara relates an episode from his childhood. <coughs> oh, is that bread for me, darling? That's very thoughtful of you. But you must take it back this instant. You stole this bread. A mother knows these things. Listen to me. You are a demi-human, living in a world ruled by mankind. Your every move will be scrutinized far more closely than those around you. You must be a model of good behavior. Never give people an excuse to start trouble. Oh, my darling boy. We both know I will not live long enough to see you become a man. I want to know that no son of mine will ever steal. Please, promise me that. Right. I get it. So you promised your mom you'd never steal. I guess we're not all that different. Okay. Okay. I promise to cut out the thievery. But you've got to promise to keep me in check. Deal? Wonderful. Now, we need to hurry up and find Duffer. These guys again? Ooh, the corn guys. I remember the corn. Yep.
judging from the picture, I'm guessing there's three floors in this place. of us now. Amulet of Clarity. Just to make sure I got the uh, point. This is my turf. It's gonna be my turf soon. We know exactly what you've done to Duffer. Let him go this instant. I don't know what lies you've been fed, but old Duffer's been a very naughty boy indeed. He went and freed the unspeakable one. And now it's rampaging round the middle echelon. 
Really? Been a royal pain in the neck. Lies! You forced my hand, Raz, and you know it! Wind your neck in, Duffer! You sad excuse for a monster. So you're Duffer. Did Raf really put you up to this? Don't let this wily little trickster fool you with his pathetic sob story. He tried to use the bean of being to make a mindless monster do his bidding. A pack of lies! That was you, and you know it! Pipe down, I said. You're up to your neck in trouble as it is. Hey, Raph. Wanna see something cool? Huh? Who is it? I'm so sorry, but my finger slipped. Say, did you just drop something? Hey, is this the bean of being? And if it is, wouldn't that mean Duffer's telling the truth? All right, I admit it. This whole mess is my doing. You can stop breathing down my neck now. Oh, poor Raph. I feel sorry for him. I wanted to control the creature, so I forced that numpty to free it and used a bean of being to harness its powers. That numpty. Oh, I could have become king of Nadiria if things had gone according to plan. But then that blasted creature decided it was going to claim the throne for itself. Can you believe the brass neck on it? Well, well. A sorry end to a sordid little story. Well, I'm afraid that, just like Duffer, you know too much. I've got no choice but to wring your necks. Nice job. Got this. Twenty-seven more. No, this can't be. Beaten by some no-neck denizens of the lower echelon. Oh, thank you. Could feel so good to be free. Excuse me, Duffer. Would you mind telling us what really happened? My family has long known the magic required to release the unspeakable one. But we are strictly forbidden to use it. The thing is, I used it once to cure my dear friend Eileen's illness. <laughs> Raph discovered this and threatened to reveal it. If you didn't do what he wanted, what a horrible thing to do. Dear, oh dear. You're a real piece of work, aren't you, Raffy boy? You don't know the first thing about me. How I was defeated and exiled from the upper echelon. Oh, the shame. The shame. Ah, I get it. Making the unspeakable one do your bidding was your way of getting revenge. I needed them to know my true greatness. <laughs> that I did not belong. Down here. Nice. I cannot thank you enough for freeing me. Please, allow me the honor of serving you. 
I vow to expend every cell in my body to do your bidding. You're going to be synthesized. And so will I. Please let us join you. Fine. Oh, wonderful! Thank you, my lord. I will faithfully await your instructions. I must have part of the <laughs> They're tower. sure to become loyal allies. Well, you shouldn't have much trouble befriending the local monsters any longer. Now, when you're ready, let's head back to the tower. Yeah, well, we still need to get to the next... Zoom! The next circle. We have no way of getting there yet. It seems you're clawing your way up Nadiria's ladder of notoriety. So much so, in fact, that you've caught my boss's attention. Bravo, bravo. The truth is, I'm no talent spotter. I'm actually this esteemed individual's loyal assistant. At last, we meet. Long have I sought you. Oh boy. I trust you are all in fine fettle. I am Armin, a trusted advisor of Randolfo the Tyrant himself. I have kept close tabs on your exploits in Nadiria, and I believe I know why you are here. Admit it. You have come to kill your father. Have you not? Yes. Oh, yes. Honesty is the best policy. Your problem is that you are too weak. To even stand a chance, you will need to harness a truly immense power. Tell me, have you heard of the secret of evolution? It so happens that an underling of mine is conducting research into it. I suggest you pay him a visit. <laughs> Till next time. Bye, bye. Ah, oh, isn't Armin just perfect? The mere sight of him sets my whiskers all a twitch. The researcher he spoke of has a laboratory in the lower echelon of the Circle of Conquest. Not far from the Molosseum. Yep. He goes by the name of Dr. Helix Helix. Did you say Helix Helix? He's only the most famous magic researcher, like, ever. I understand that he seeks some able assistance to help him in his research. But, unfortunately, as things stand, I don't think you lot are quite up to snuff. Too bad. I suggest you prove yourselves by triumphing in the Category E tournament at the Morlaceum. Right. This could be my big chance to meet Dr. Helix Helix! Let's head over to the Morlaceum right now! You've got a Category E tourney to win! Zoom! Let's do it. Do you want to enter? Should be that hard. <laughs> well 
Welcome to the Molosseum's Category F Tournament. Introducing our competitors for the day. After a spine-tingling debut, our fresh-faced favorite is back for a further foray. It's the Cryptic Kid. His opponent is a typhoon of torment, a hurricane of pain. The winds she whips up will drive anyone insane. It's Augusta! Here we go. It's time for our first match. On your marks, get set. faster than us. The winner of the first match is the Cryptic Kid! What a tremendous tosser that was. Give it up for the victor! Our next competitor is a brain rearranger who's no stranger to deranged danger. Lord Scale Larry! Ooh. Our second match is about to begin. On your marks, get set. Kill. Yep. That tracks. You're lucky I don't have the final tier of spells. The winner of the second bout is the cryptic kid. The golden boy does it again. But will his next opponent succeed in sabotaging his ascent? He's a sword master who forecasts disaster so fast to be aghast to the very last. It's the great invisible. A large. Um... Are you ready for the final bout? You won't want to take Hunter your Mac. eyes off this one. On your marks, get set. Kill. There we go. <laughs> All right. Do my sockets deceive me? The category F winner is the fresh face rookie who's destined for the big time. The cryptic kid. Give it up. These announcers are really putting all they're all in these roles. Victorious again, eh? I had a feeling you'd come out on top. Here's your prize for winning Kataguy F. You've got a bright future ahead of you. <laughs> See you next slime. There. Do you want to enter? Category E. So his father is Randolpho. And now it's time to start today's matches. Our first competitor is rising through the ranks at breakneck speed. 
It's the rampant cryptic dead! His opponent conducts himself with an elemental mentality that brings monumental brutality. Gustav Moller! Get ready for match one! On your marks, get set, kill! And the winner is the Cryptic Kid! Every foe he fells causes fans to faint, in the utter ecstasy of entertainment. Next up, he faces a beefy buff ruffian who's tougher than a ten-ton fist decafian. Bobby Builder! Let's get our second match underway. On your marks, get set. Outrageous! The winner is the Cryptic Kid! No wall of muscle can stand in the way of his hustle. But who is his next opponent? She's a mini mystery with a major mandate to downright detonate. Bomber Jacket! Good boy. It's time for our final matchup. Are you ready for action? On your marks, get set. Kill! Very nice. Out of this world, the category E winner is the Bonafide Battle Machine, the Cryptic Kid. The crowd can barely contain themselves. That man, could it be? <laughs> Indeed. This boy has something special about him. I always knew you'd deliver the goose. Here's your prize for winning Category E. I can't wait to see you in action again. I'm tipping you for greatness. Thank you, Dark Slam. Ugh. All right. Greetings. <laughs> Congratulations on your Category E victory. You really are the cat's pajamas. Whoa, it's Virgil. 
Now, there's a certain researcher of Meowjik by the name of Dr. Helix Helix, who's seeking strapping young folk to help with his next experiment. His laboratory is a mere stone's throw from the Morlaceum. Perhaps you could have a word. <laughs> this could be my chance to work for the famous Dr. Helix Helix. Let's go. Find some of the mundus errand for me. I am Dr. Helix Helix, world renowned researcher of magic. What brings you here? Whoa, check it out. It's really him, Dr. Helix Helix. Hmm? Good night. Ears deceive me. The long lost second son returns. You're here to learn about the secret of evolution, I presume. Oh, no, 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 no I'm not psychic. Armin has told me all about you. The secret of evolution is a lost occult mechanism, one which I am attempting to bring back. As legend has it, one who wields it is transformed in appearance and granted unimaginable powers. Mm. Should one wish to fully become a monster, that too would be possible. If one were to surrender one's humanity. However, unlocking the secret of evolution requires immense magic and, oh, a millennium of practice. Uh, a millennium? I'll be an old man by then. Worry not. If one were to possess some sands of time, why, millennia might pass in mere moments. But the pentaractic crystal required to make them can only be found in the gleaming grotto of the Circle of Caprice. Now, my boy, would you be willing to travel there and retrieve a piece of pentaractic crystal? Yeah. A wise answer indeed. Now, you will be needing this. Oh, blue traveling. Indigo. Sorry. That will grant you access to three more of Nadiria's realms. Three. Farewell. And... Fair fortune. It seems this pentaractic crystal is the key to understanding the secret of evolution. We should probably head to the Circle of Caprice and find the Gleaming Grotto. Ah. Before you depart, we should exchange our helipad contact details. Would you mind? A what? Hey. You don't possess a helipad? Oh, in this day and age. But it just happens that I have a spare lying around. A what? Helipad. What's this do? Take care. That my boy is a magical device that will allow us to stay in touch any time, any place. If it rings, pick it up. Give me a cell phone. Let's go. He said the circle of caprice. Oh, 
also unlocks two other circles. one on the list is a circle of caprice. Water and gems. Huh. Goodness, look at the size of this lake. It's like an ocean. This place is brimming with magic. I'll bet it's full of strange and bewitching loot. <clears throat> Uh, but let's focus on getting that Pentaracta crystal for the good doctor. We just need to find the Gleaming Grotto. Now, my gut instinct is telling me... Hmm. Let me see... Aha! We need to go that away. Oh man, this is gonna be so great! Come on, let's bag us that crystal! Very nice. Horses, little pigs with hats, lots of pigs with hats, got some lips. Mm. Forget, are those F rank? E rank, I think they're E rank. No, no, not E rank. That's probably F. Welcome to the ruined city of El Fayum. The area's premier holiday resort. Our view of the lake is sim our views of the lake are simply stupend stupendous. The history of this place is shrouded in mystery. Nobody knows why it was founded or by whom.
What are you doing here? What are you... You wouldn't be looking for the penetrant... Pentaratic crystal in the Gleaming Grotto, would you? I say, well, you must know that the grotto is not too far from the city. You just exit here and keep going straight. Well, that's a dangerous place. The tourist board currently recommends visiting the lake instead. Gotcha. Ooh, one of those things. Saber... Sabertooth Cubs? Huh. Dragonflies. What are these? Disfi oh, disfigurines. There's something else, but I remember those.
Uh. Huh. Well then. There he is, taking a while to load. Hello. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh wait. Another minute. If it hasn't loaded, I'll assume it's not going to load and I have to restart. This was a uh... not what I hoped. I want to stay hydrated. All right, the minute's up. Probably should have kept autosave on at that point. Probably should be keeping autosave on now and then turn it off while I'm trying to grind. How far back did it get sent? Normally I don't like having autosave on, but maybe I need to do it while I'm uh, while I'm out and about. At least I can skip cutscenes. Our tower, first floor, rose. Oh. I was just leaving the area. Leaving the tower. Well. Yep. Save on just now. Other
So it's down here and across these things. Golems. Got stone golems. Oh, this cave is really something else, huh? That musty odor lets you know the place has history. And a hoard of hidden treasure. Hmm? Did that stone just move? <gasps> Behind you! I can take them on, unless they're large monsters, in which case I can. Stone me! What's with these guys? Come on! We'll have to head deeper in! <sighs> Those guys don't know when to quit! Better get moving before they spot us. Come on. Hey. Crystal of caves of crystal. And this is the big hitter here, I, su I suppose. <gasps> is that the pentaractic crystal? It's beautiful. Can you feel the magic coming off this thing? Let's grab all we can. Uh oh. 
What the heck? Since when did crystals know how to move? Here he comes. Must obey orders. Destroy. He's a pentarac pentaractic crystal. Hey. We got it! Man, this is awesome! This is beyond awesome! This brings us one step closer to the secret of evolution. Let's get it to Dr. Helix Helix Stat. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Rose. Ah, uh, don't tell me you're gonna cry. You don't want to be mobbed by a bunch of greedy bozos, do you? Toilin, you know about our ruby tears. Getting a hold of Elven Tears is the quickest way to get rich. Everyone knows that. So no waterworks. You got it? Now, let's head back to the lab. Ancient Ruins, Elfeum, Flaming Grotto. All right. Zoom! Interactive crystal. Quickly enough, give it to me. Oh, 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 yes! This is it! Now, I can make the sands of time. Uh, Dr. Helix Helix, do you think I could, you know, help out? No, but you may watch in silence. Behold, the sands of time. The secret of evolution is within my grasp. Whoa, you did it! <laughs> nice going, Doc. And it looks like there's plenty to go around? Out of the question. Do you think I would share this with a buffoon such as yourself? Uh, regardless. I do owe you my thanks. The secret of evolution need be a distant dream no longer. When the time is right, I shall contact you via helipad, and together we will witness history in the making. Hmm. Didn't that last piece of travelite open up a couple other destinations? Come on, let's see a little more of the world. Hey. Zoom! 
I think we may have enough I may have enough time to do one more part of the lower echelon. Then we'll save the rest of it. Uh, save more of the game for the next stream. Circle of Fortitude. Ooh. My word. What an unwelcoming place. I don't like it here one bit. Let's take out the big hitter and get out of this dump. those things. Gettysburg. Check that out. Listen up, folks. Barbatos's army will be back to steal our food again soon. None of us want to starve, but we are powerless to resist them. Oh, it seems we have visitors. What's your name? I see. I'm Howie, the elder here. What brings you to our little village? We're trying to topple the big hit around here. Oh, oh! Well, you certainly showed up at a good time. The individual you seek is Percival, the captain of Barbatos's army. His goons have been ransacking the local villages and killing anyone who opposes them. Our village is on its last legs, but if we could strike first, just maybe. If you're looking to take down the big hitter, we should fight together. What do you say? Yeah, sure. Thank you. The army operates out of the watchtower near our village. Let's rendezvous at the top of the tower. We'll make our way there shortly. Listen to me, friends. Today, we overthrow our oppressors. Ah. Oh, it's that armor. I remember that thing. I really do want to scout that. 
Maybe later. Does this place just not have music? Other restless armor right here. I think the I think restless armor was a good ingredient. I think I have to check later. guys nearby would actually be very good for me. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't mean climb all that way up. Oh no, it's telling me to climb back down. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, never mind, I can just jump down.
Ja, Cap. Intruders! Calm yourselves. Frozen Garden? My name is Percival. Pretty ah, state right. thy business here. Ah, ah, you took my mummy and daddy! Yeah, that'll do it. I will do it. Percival, your reign of terror hath come to an end. So, tis battle thou seekest. Then oblivion awaiteth, as with all who have ever opposed me. Charge! Here they come. You take care of Percival, and let us worry about the others. In the name of Lord Barbatos. Barbatos? Not Barbados? Alright. That's a very nice hatchet man. I had not anticipated this. We can finally live in peace. We have you to thank for that. You deserve a reward. Be sure to drop by the village later. All right? Ah, so that is thy name. I have a boon to ask of thee. Wouldst thou entertain my request? A long time ago, my hometown was put to the torch. I alone survived, saved by none other than Barbatos, my lord and master. I owe everything to him and more. I would lay down my life for him without a second's hesitation. What I am about to ask, therefore, may surprise thee. I would have thee defeat Barbatos, defeat my very savior. 
Meet me in the middle echelon of the Circle of Fortitude. Ooh. Nice. Zoom! Alright, but what is this? Treasure. What is this? Reward. I think uh, we have time. We have time. We could probably do the last uh, circle a little lower. Something on this dragon quest. Not typical dragon quest monster is a prequel to the dragon. No! You don't say. I had no idea that this was a prequel to 4. Absolutely no idea. Uh, no, but thank you. I thank you, said for dropping by too. Ah, but I know. I'm enjoying it so far. Pretty nice. Four seeds of growth. One for Young Pai. Young Pai said he was going to leave the village and live with you instead. His name is Thawi. All I ask is that you take good care of him. Seeds of growth. Raise the level of an ally by one. Okay, he just gave me the equivalent of rare candies. Well then. Yeah, I haven't noticed I've been going on for over six and a half hours, so I'm going to be doing one more circle of Nadiria before I end the stream. Again, thank you for stopping by, Sid. What is this circle, though? of corruption. Well then. This place fills me full of dread. Yet life goes on regardless. Ever the strong tussle, the weak rot underfoot. Wouldn't you agree? Second in line to the Nadirian throne. <laughs> Don't look so shocked. Everyone here knows exactly who you are. The whys and wherefores of how you came to be here are still but hearsay, mind you. But then, we all thought you were dead. Sorry, but who are you? I'm the warder here. This is a prison. Oh. Okay. The retention center, to be precise. Where the memories 
of an ancient and incomprehensibly powerful creature are confined. Three memories are imprisoned here. From them, you may learn vital information. However, the memories are guarded. Defeat the watchdogs and all will be revealed. But you're the warder. Why do this? I've had enough of this job. Who needs a warder if there's nothing left to guard? So, will you defeat my three watchdogs? There's no catch, I promise. Sure. <laughs> I knew you'd agree. I'll find you again once all the memories have been freed. Where cloudy skies not by design a mundane world do make. Flowers rejoice at petals lost to beating rain. Guys like that really grind my gears. Well, I imagine those watchdogs he mentioned are up ahead. Shall we take a look? Right, all of corruption. So the last circle is just a jail, the entire- for the whole thing. And succubat are common here. Which means I can fuse for rank E monsters easily from this circle. with the watchdogs look at that can you see that cage back there yeah does that look like the memory of an insane criminal monster mind to you look out you two here it comes wow So, how are we supposed to release this thi- Awaken now, kings of this new world. May you herald the dawn of great change. Who? These are Zenithians, aren't they? The angels? Well, yeah. Orifiella, it would seem even a Zenithian may be motivated to acts of such recklessness. She has stolen one of the secrets of creation. Should she use it, grave times lie ahead for all of us. Deliver now this message to all Zenithians. Find Azabel before she is consumed by her own ambition. Right. Ah. Huh. Well then. The secrets of creation? 
This is way, way bigger than I could have imagined. Yep. Let's find the next memory, quick. My curiosity has been peaked beyond its peak. Dog. It's this All one. right, let's see what's next on the memory menu. Brace yourselves, it's coming right at us. Abra, 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 Until a splash hole. Pretty good spell. So. This one. The time is nigh, my children. Awaken now. We have a world to make anew. Fly forth, O oh flames of mercy. Jeez. A world where subjugation reigns deserves no tomorrow. From sin, light will shine once more. Suffer before you can know joy. From your agony will spring forth a world infinitely more beautiful. Well, now. Should this continue, life will cease to exist and all will be lost. Go forth, Zenithians! We must stop her at whatever cost. Gave the dragon such a gruff voice. It would seem that Azabel is a Zenithian who put the entire world in dire peril. This is totally nuts. I'm not sure I like where this is going. But we must find out. <sighs> we have to release that final memory. Last dog. The next memory is the third and final one. Stay focused.
I'm sorry, was mis was focused misspelled there? I'm pretty sure focus was misspelled there. It's supposed to have one S, not two. Half the world ravaged by flame, and it took mere days. May the vile spawn of corruption lie interred forevermore beneath the ground. Their souls from their bodies separated, never again to coalesce. Azamel, architect of this grave sin, I have banished to an ancient elven realm. Should her foul creations ever awaken, they will doubtless make for her side, as any child would. May this event be recorded in Zenithian scripture that it may live in our memories, never to be repeated. Get it? Did all that stuff really happen? Are you all right? May living nightmares not deter thee on thy path to hope. Press on with purpose, whatsoever that may be. Well, you released all the memories. Did you learn anything interesting? As for me, I'm now free of the Zenith Dragon's control. Feels rather pleasant. Now, I have a little task of my own that I really should be attending to. Watch out! Dear me, you really must learn to finish off your foes. I think this means you owe me one. I expect you to be the hero in my hour of need. I suppose this is farewell. For now, at least. Drink not deep of empty power lest thou succumbs to it. And in that blinkered state, see not the knife's approach. This is kind of a lot to take in. How about we head back to Rose Hill for now? Zoom! All right. Let's go back to Rose Hill and see the next uh, story beat before we end this. Hey. Something's happening over there.
<laughs> That's kind of sweet. There's nothing quite like a father's love for his son. Oh, and please. Toylan, you haven't told us about your family. Well, I had a younger brother, but he was pretty frail from the get-go. We were orphans, you see. I never had much food. He got sick and died when we were kids. Say, do you remember when I said we weren't all that different? Well, I know how hard it is to lose a loved one, too. Without my brother around, my life felt meaningless. Like if I died in a ditch, who'd care? But that's all changed now. Now that I'm not alone anymore. Mm -hmm. what the? A kid dragon? What's this guy doing here? Mm. What was that? How did you get that, Rose? Holy moly, Rose! You can understand dragons? That's incredible! Go with you! But what could the Zenith Dragon have to tell us that's so important? Wait, wait, wait! Did you just say the Zenith Dragon? But isn't he, like, a god? Toilin and Sparkle make their way to Zenithia. Yeah, I thought so. Build it. They built the teleportal right below where he is. Guessing this is the only room we could go to. Alright. Yes. Oh, there he is. Welcome, Sara, to Zenithia. I am the Zenith Dragon. From these lofty heights, I tend to all the world's needs. I summon you here today to warn you of the imminent resurrection of a dark force. He is the spawn of blasphemy who laid the world to waste in an age long past. Yep, we're learning about Estark. His name is Estark, Lord of the Underworld. Before long he will reawaken, and the world will once again be set on the path to destruction. However, doom may yet be averted with the help of the Chosen. You will join forces with these heroic few to defeat Estark. After which, you must relinquish your monster blood and live as a human. No. This was your mother's dying wish. Will you honor it? No? Then perhaps you mean to subjugate the Lord of the Underworld and have him do your bidding. So still you seek to destroy your father. I see little has changed since first we met. Should you succeed in bringing the Lord of the Underworld under your control, 
I am afraid I would not take it lightly. And to complicate matters, you are not the only one who desires his immense power. Yep. I speak of Zandiel the Omniarch. Who? He rules over all monster kind, with a power comparable only to that of Randolfo the Tyrant. Okay. Zandiel. Henceforth, the feud between humans and monster kind will only intensify until one side is annihilated. But as long as the Chosen live, the monsters have no hope of victory. And yet, you mean to ally with the side that will ultimately lose, do you not? If that is your answer, so be it. But you must live with the consequences of your decision. Your rival, Zangiel, resides in Diabolic Hall, on a remote island in the south of Terrestria. I will enable the teleportal in Rose Hill to take you there directly. Now leave. I forbid you to ever set foot in Zenithia again. Well then, this has been fun. Idea, huh? All that stuff with the Zenith Dragon back there? You weren't serious, were you? You're not really planning to wage war against humanity, right? I mean, that includes me, you know? Unbelievable. You've lost the plot. Yeah. Kinda. And I bet you won't stop at the Lord of the Underworld. You want Zangiel in your ranks as well, don't you? How can you be sure you'll succeed? You don't know the slightest thing about him! He's the only thing stopping Randolfo from gaining control over the monsters in Terrestria. They love him! Make an enemy of Zangiel, and you make an enemy of every monster out there. You know, for all our differences, I really thought we understood each other. Come on, there's still time for you to change your mind. Don't start a war against the humans. the guts to answer <laughs> at least now I know where we stand on opposite sides of the battlefield we are no longer friends <laughs> I can't even be sure we ever were was that wait was that actually a major choice I could have done Alright, so next part will be going to the Diabolic Hall. 
but we'll save that for next stream. Alright, hold on. Now that'll be it for this stream, and um, yeah, it's been, it, it was a long stream this time. I really do like Dragon Quest, and I knew I had to do a long-term stream just for the first one. Maybe kind of long for the next one, but not as long as this one. And just uh, for the sake of I want to keep playing this game, I'm actually going to be grinding off stream. I will not progress the story, but all the areas I have been, I'll be using only those areas to grind from. And from there, we'll continue on next stream. I feel like I have a good place in it. It'll be next week. We'll continue the story. I just want to be going through the game with monsters With monsters I like. I, there's a lot of monsters. I can get through it. But I gotta be able to grind off stream in order to get these monsters. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be blazing the story with <laughs> this part, this ragtag party of things with cute, with powerful spells. Until then, thank you for stop watching. Thank you for staying. I'll see you next time with a different party, probably. Maybe not Cyclone. Cyclone. Cyclone's pretty cool, but he's only like E rank, so I may get a, b a stronger version. Who knows? Till then, stay safe. Peace.